What's up everyone? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 4. In the last episode, we got the ship, went to Mintos, and got a treasure map, uh, and we found Curiel and Boria. And uh, it looks like Curiel is sick, so we had to go to the kingdom of, of Parthenia to find a antidote, but it's not here. It's in the vault that's uh, south of Parthenia. So that's where we're going to go today. Uh, yeah, I used the uh, Seed of Wisdom on uh, the hero there. I also used the, uh, what was it, the uh, Magic Acorn on the hero. One thing I forgot was that we had the uh, Spangled Dress in the bag. I think we've had it for a while. Either that or, or it came with uh, Tornico's uh, bag contents or something like that. So I would equipped it on uh, Maya there. Her, de her defense is a lot better now. It's, it's, it's in the 60s now, so that's pretty good. So this is my marching order. I have Ternico, Hero, Mina, and uh, Maya there. So we should be okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just going to go straight for the uh, item that we, that we need to get there. Because, well, it, we're, about, we're getting more XP now per uh, fight. So, Alina. Hey! There she is. Whoa. Yeah, this is a uh, different plot device that they uh, had in uh, the DS version. <clears throat> they didn't have this in the NES version. Huh. Yeah, and that's pretty much the point of it, is to tell you, guys, is to tell you that uh, Alina has the Thieves' Key there. So, that's cool, I guess. But yeah, we're getting more XP now per... Uh, per battle, so I don't want to fight too many enemies. Uh, this way, you know, Curiel and Alina, as well as Boria, they can, uh, you know, stay on par with levels there. Yeah, those little tiles will force you to go in the direction that they're pointing at. So, be careful with that. And we got some new enemies here. We got a, uh, Powie Yowie and Vampire Battlers. Those are from previous chapters. Power Yowies can do a good amount of damage. Uh, I would just take them out really quickly. Um, Vampire Battlers, well, you can... Yeah, they can, oh, they can snooze you. Ow. Uh, and, yeah, just... Infer uh, or rather, whoosh, sizzle, should be fine. There we go. Yeah, Tornico can stay asleep for all I care. Makes no difference, he doesn't do much anyways. Oh boy, yeah, the Power Yaoi can also do a uh, cold breath there, but whatever, it's cool. Yeah, you see what I mean? Because, like, we're getting, like, 100, 200 XP for, per fight, so, uh, I don't want anyone to miss out. Because if the, if the wagon isn't, uh, on the, uh, <clears throat> on the walking screen there, then, well, won't be able to, uh, your other players won't be won't get any XP, so. Get a Seed of Life, awesome. That will be going to Mina. Uh, there are some good treasures here that I do want to get though, but not yet. Not yet. So that was a couple, that was a few wizards there. Uh, Toloon, or, or Tornico, rather, he stole a Seed of Resilience from them. That's pretty badass. Uh, yeah, Tornico can randomly steal items from enemies there. So yeah, this is where the, uh, this is where the Seed is to get the antidote. I, don't, I forget what they call it in this version, but whatever. Makes no difference. We just have to take the right, uh, path here in order to get it. Let's see... Alright, and, oh, we got more enemies, Salamander Fries, oh boy, yeah, they can do uh, quite a bit of damage, I think they can you they can do a uh, Fire Breath, which does like 15 to 25 damage to all your players, so, yeah, oh, or not, oh, we have Iron Shields equipped, so, yeah, doesn't really do much to those who have that, but 
poor Maya is getting pounded by those. But that's okay. We're cool. I didn't know the uh, vampire battlers could uh, put you to sleep with their physical attacks. Turn to go. Yeah, see, sometimes he'll randomly. He'll do random stupid attacks like. Like doing nothing or doing lose a turn attacks, which I don't really care for. So, yeah, that's why I really don't care for Tornico too much. Sure, you can steal items, but what good is that when you can't do it consistently? You know? Yeah, the reason my voice is so low is because it's like 3 in the morning. Let's see what's in this treasure chest. Ah, uh, can of box. Lame. Yeah, these guys are just as deadly as they were in uh, Dragon Quest 3 there. They can do a lot of damage with their physical attacks. And Tornico just wasted another turn. Oh my god, yeah. Kill it, please kill it. Oh, good crit, yeah. That is clutch play. Was for the state could have done that in the front and uh, the uh, <clears throat> ah. see. I know they're in the play. I know they were in the playoffs, but I don't know what round it was. Was it going into the uh, elite eight right now, or or was it the elite elite eight? And now it's going into the final four. I don't really know. All I know is that Florida State lost a big game during one of the rounds, and it sucked. Alright, I think if we take this one, we will just go there. What about that one? No. How about that one? Success! Awesome. And we got the Fever Few Seed. Yay! Alright, I will be coming back here to get some good stuff though, because there's a piece of armor in particular that's in particular that is really, really, really good. And it's going to be pretty much necessary for this uh, second half of the game. But I'm going to get it later with different players in my party. This way they can, you know, make up for what XP they lost in the few fights that I was in in this area. Alright, so let's go back to uh, Parthenia there. I'm just going to use evac and zoom. Parthenia. I keep wanting to say sort. I keep wanting to say uh, Soretta, but it isn't Soretta. This isn't the NES version. I suppose I could have played that, but whatever. What's up, King? Yeah, here you go, man. You beat those enemies. And it grows instantly, of course. Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, I'm looking on in disbelief, too. The Empire Strikes Back, apparently. With Fever Few. Awesome. We get the Fever Few root that we need to heal Curiel with. I wonder what happened to Alina. And yeah, she probably just went back to Mintos. By the way, that party she was with, that's the same party you uh, talked to in uh, Branca in the fir when the uh, chapter first opens. But if you didn't notice. I could have talked to them, but meh. It's too annoying. Really? Wow. Yeah, tell me about that, man. Tell me about that. So like here I am about to finish college and I'm getting a second job at a liquor store. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have what we need to save him now. We do have few a few root. <laughs> give him, give it at Curiel. This guy are sick. This guy are revived. <laughs> Yay, happy music. Alright. What's up, man? Yeah. Well... <laughs> Don't worry, Curiel. Alina is stronger than you. Absolutely. I don't know how you knew that, Curiel, but whatever. Cool. 
That works for me, man. Yeah, so now Alina and Curiel have joined the party. Guess who we have to find next? Would it start with an R? Yeah, we have to f we're going to be finding Ragnar next. And now we finally get the rest of the uh, bag contents from Chapter 2. Including the Thieves Key, which is nice. Sup, poet? Right. Absolutely, the great big Jew, I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, really? Cool. Stop talking, I know. I thought you said something different. Okay, what I want to do right now is just rearrange my party and everything. Um, yeah, and uh, check out all the bad contents from Chapter 2 and everything like that. And I will be right back. Okay, we're back, and yeah, look at all the medical herbs we have now. Remember when I saved them all in uh, Chapter 2? We, we had about 11 or 12 of them. Same with the antidote herbs there. And, uh, we had some seeds left over, four seeds of agility, which I'm gonna give, which I'm gonna split between the hero and Mina. Uh, seeds of strength are going right to Mina. Seed of resilience I'm actually gonna give to Alina. Um, yeah, we have some leftover items from the previous chapters. The Thieves Key, four magic water, and a leather hat. Um, yeah, let me go to the attributes real quick. But as you can see, let me drag this down a little bit. Alina only has 5,000 XP. Curiel, 5,000 XP. Now let's compare that to the two, to the uh, people we've been traveling with. Maya. Look at that, 11,000. Boreal only has 5,000 XP. Uh, Mina has about 14,000. Tornika I don't care about. And the hero has, you know, 11,000. So, but what I'm going to do uh, is go into the, what's it called, the uh, Parthenia vault again, but with Alina, Curiel, Boya, and Mina there. Because I want Mina to be pretty over leveled because she's going to be a very important player later on in this game. She's going to be pretty much like a paladin type player where she'll have good attack power and good magic and good speed to boot. This way she can act first in battle. That's going to be very important in this game. Um, same with the hero. Uh, Alina is probably going to be... I'm probably going to switch off between Alina and uh, Ragnar. Um, same with Curiel. Um, and then Maya and Boria, they're just going to be there, kind of. But what, but what business does Ragnar have in Police de Leon? <clears throat> has Balzac come back from the dead? Has he evolved? Or is Kilion, or did he get executed by Kilion? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. This is the big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.